Hi everyone, welcome in Europa Park here. It's been almost one and a half years ago since I was here the last time and back then I decided I would only come back once Volton opens and as we all know by now and as you can see behind me, Volton is open. So we're here to explore this beautiful brand new coaster and of course also the whole new Croatia themed area here as you can see. I'm here together with Bart. Bart is waiting there. We're here for three days and of course yeah with all the hype surrounding Voltron and such that's of course the main reason we're here but does Voltron actually live up to the expectations? Is this new striker coaster from Mac actually really that good and how does it compare to other more thrilling rides here such as Wuldan, Silver Star, Blue Fire? There's only one way to find out so let's see if riding Voltron deserves a spot on your team park to do this. First of all, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, totally transparent, it's not our first day here actually at the park uh, on this three day trip. No, we actually arrived yesterday already, we had a fun day here, but it was pouring rain. And honestly, I was just pretty tired yesterday, uh, so yeah, I was pretty tired and decided to keep the filming for today, because of course my mental and you know, physical health is uh, always a priority. So that actually also means that we also had our first ride on Voltron already yesterday. So this video will not be a first reaction, but after doing it uh, multiple times, one time in the back row and one time in the front, yesterday I already have an opinion. But uh, to keep you guys a little bit more on the edge of your seat, I'm going to keep that one for uh, later after riding it again today. But first let's have a look here at the Croatia themed area here, which is really nice actually. So Volcon is actually located in this Croatia area. It's all about uh, Nikola Tesla, which was a Croatian uh, inventor. He was, in, he was the inventor of the, um, yeah, the AC uh, uh, yeah, power, I, I guess. It's, it's something with electricity, I'm yeah, not exactly sure. There's also the animatronic show here about uh, Voltron. This is an animatronic of Nikola Tesla, by the way. I think it's every 30 minutes there's a show like this here. It's really cool. But as you can see here, Croatia is like a very uh, yeah, Mediterranean uh, country. I've never been to uh, Croatia, but uh, if it really looks like this, I actually am willing to go there. It really gives you a lot of summery holiday vibes here. And like I said, Volton is all about uh, Nikola Tesla and uh, electricity and such. So there's actually a replica here of the, I think it's called the Warden Cliff Tower or something, which was something uh, Nikola Tesla created uh, to yeah, experiment on, um, and, what was it, uh, wireless electricity or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, you can look it up on Wikipedia. But anyway, uh, this Croatia themed area is all around uh, Voltron, so it's not a really big area, but uh, it's a really, really beautiful. And you also have this Rimac car here, because uh, Voltron Nevera is actually sponsored by Rimac, which is, I believe, I'm not sure, a uh, Croatian. Uh, company that creates uh, electric cars. I'm not exactly sure actually. You can probably also look it up on Wikipedia. I don't know. There's also some uh, food stands here where you can have some uh, delicious Croatian uh, food. We tried something here uh, on our first day which was... <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce the name. It was really really good. And the dome uh, theater that was actually on the yeah on the spot here of uh, the Croatia area it has been moved to here, and there's a new movie in the yeah what's called the Traunzeit Dome, which is a beautiful Croatia, uh, yeah some sort of movie about Croatia actually. It's more like a big advertisement, I believe, uh, for Croatia. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to do that one. I did it once in the past, Traunzeit Dome and it was not really that spectacular. So I'm not going to uh, waste my time on that here. But anyway, we're here for this one. So let's do Voltron again.
All right, so we had our third ride now on Voltron Nevera here, the uh, Max Striker coaster. And I told you guys already yesterday, I did my first ride already, and this was my third ride today. I have to say every ride I did so far was kind of different, actually. My first ride was, uh, it was a fun ride, but I kind of felt like, nah, it's maybe not as good as everyone is, is you know, telling me it's, it's maybe a bit overrated a bit overhyped then my second ride was way better it was felt way more intense way uh, more snappy way more yeah, fast way more just way better way better so after my second ride yesterday i was like okay maybe maybe it is not really that overhyped then today my third ride was really like the most intense ride I did. It was like going really fast, although it's probably the same as yesterday, but still this, this ride, is, it's, it's a ride, it's, it's really growing on me. Yesterday I, I felt like, yeah, it's, it's okay-ish, then second ride was much better and now, now I'm a big fan of it. It's a really, really great coaster from Mac. Yeah, they, they really made a beauty here. It's really great. Also the, the theming, very, very beautiful. Uh, it's really amazing, also the animatronic, really great. Another thing that everyone keeps saying is also the, the Radley trains. Uh, yesterday my two rides were pretty smooth actually, so no Radley trains. Now today, the third ride I had was kind of a Radley train. So I kind of agree with people that it depends on the train. Some trains are Radley, some trains are butter smooth. It's, it really depends, but it's, it's really doable actually. So some trains are indeed Radley, but it's, it's not painful or not enjoyable at all. I really enjoy this coaster even with the rattle actually. Uh, it's also just a really fun layout. Uh, they, they try to really put a lot of uh, cool elements in this ride which is amazing actually. Uh, the first part is a bit more, it looks to me it's a bit more about the inversions and the second part after the, yeah, yeah there's like a, a, a turning point uh, where you suddenly are launched backwards and then forwards again. That second part after that swing launch thing is, in my opinion, really the best part of the ride. It's more uh, about ejector airtime and, and speed on that uh, last part. It's just really amazing. So that's really my, my favorite part because I'm a really big fan of airtime on a coaster. So here, this one, really, really great. So it's just, this coaster is just really great from, from start to finish. It starts with the amazing Beyond Vertical Launch, actually, which is really cool. It's not very powerful. It's just a cool uh, effect with a lot of hang time there at the top. Uh, there's another uh, yeah moment in the ride with a lot of hang time also, but just, the whole ride from start to finish it's good even right before the um uh, the end breaks there is like a really big airtime moment also it's, it's really really amazing but now of course how does this ride compare uh, to uh, the other more thrilling coasters here in this park like silver star blue fire and roll down let's see we're uh, going to wait in line for 40 minutes with roll down we really like roll down right yeah. wooden coaster it's a very very fun gci coaster very uh thrilling one uh it's very comparable to mystic timbers sorry for the loud noises here it's very comparable to mystic timbers uh, in kiss, kiss, kiss island kings island <laughs> but uh I had a feeling that Mystic Timbers was better than this one, but this is really a great GCI coaster, great one coaster. But let's see if it's better than Volton or not.
All right, so that was Roll Down here behind me, the wooden coaster, the GCI coaster. Is it better than Voltron or not? Voltron is a longer ride. Voltron is a longer ride, that's true. This one is it's a, it's a very intense one. It's a very speedy one. Uh, you've got some, uh, yeah, quite some injector uh, airtime moments, quite some uh, speedy, snappy transitions, but it's a lot uh, yeah, shorter than Voltron, actually. Voltron is, is a lot longer, of course. Um, so, in my opinion, Voltron is still better than Wodan, but Wodan really comes close to this one. It's, it's, it's a very, very cool experience, uh, boat rides, but Voltron is maybe a little bit better, although I liked Voltron more in the front. Uh, the back row on Voltron it's as good as Voltron in my opinion but anyway you cannot really yeah you cannot really compare of course because Voltron is a very different coaster compared to a, a GCI wooden coaster completely different but yeah in ranking if I would have to choose between Voltron and Wodan I would take Voltron in the front row uh, on the first place but uh, anyway they're both really 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 great coasters actually all right, let's do another ride here on Blue Fire now. Uh, I already did it multiple times, of course, so I can safely say I really love this coaster. It's a really good one. But let's see how it compares now since I did uh, Voltron now. Let's go. So that was our ride here on Blue Fire, the uh, Mac launch coaster here. Uh, it's it's definitely not as intense as uh, Voltron. Voltron is a lot more intense, although I really like this coaster still. But yeah, I think everyone agrees with me who has ridden Blue Fire and Voltron. That Voltron is clearly the more intenser one, the better one. Although Blue Fire is, is still really a great coaster, of course. It's pretty smooth uh, for being such an older than the first. Um, Mac looping coaster. Uh, the layout is also really nice. The launch is, is not really that powerful. It's just a fun launch, but um, just the layout of the ride is really, really fun, actually. There are some really nice airtime moments on the ride, and also the inversions are really fun, especially the last inversion, last roll at the end. A really cool one. Uh, but yeah, Toltron is way better, way better. All right, and here we are at Silver Star, the BNM. Uh, yeah, what is it? 
Hyper Coaster, I think it is. I'm not sure. Let's see how this one compares to Voltron. What was our verdict of Silver Star? Good ride. Good ride. It's a great ride, and it's a great uh, BNM hyper coaster. Uh, or it's, no, it's a hyper coaster. It's a hyper coaster. Or a mega coaster. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a big coaster. Uh, but it's a really, really great one. Um, I love it more uh, compared to, for example, Orion in Kings Island. Diamond back in Kings Island is better than this one. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a great coaster. But how does it compare to Volton? Volton is better. Volton is for sure better than uh, uh, Silver Star. So, uh, Silver Star done, Blue Fire done, Ronan done, Voltron done. I can, I think I, we can safely say that this one here is by far the best roller coaster here in this park. It's a really great coaster and just the, the, yeah, the whole layout, all the elements in the ride make this ride really like so much better than, than, than any other coaster. Silver Star is a lot about airtime. Uh, this one is also a lot about airtime, even more intense maybe than Silver Star. Um, but this one also has a lot more elements than Silver Star. This coaster is like a bit of a, a mix of all the, the, the good roller coasters they had so far. You have the, the crazy speed uh, as you have on Wodan, you have the inversions, the cool inversions as you have on uh, Blue Fire, and you have, of course, the airtime moments as you have. On Silver Star, so this was really like a mix of all the best of all these coaches. So I can safely say, with all the elements, with all the the, the craziness that this ride offers, this is by far the best one. So I cannot wait to ride it again. And uh, let's just do that. <laughs> I'll see you again in the next video. See ya.